Hello. I have had a busy week. I have been really like cleaning, deep cleaning. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. So yesterday I spent about three hours just playing Game Boys because it is still my favorite system. Now this one is not my first Game Boy, but it is my favorite just because it's clear. I mean, it looks cool. So I've talked about Game Boys before, and what I want to talk about today is emulation for Game Boys and mods. So what I really love about the original Game Boy is the screen. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm lying. What I really love about the original Game Boy is what people don't love anymore, and that's the size of it. It is the perfect size. It fit my hands perfectly when it came out. It fits my adult hands perfectly now. These smaller, um, and you know, this is mine that is a nice little emulator, and then this is a little uh, $10 emulator that only plays uh, Famicom games. Okay, so a little bit different here. But you can see the size difference. So I was trying to research, and I really believe I do not have the intelligence to own a Raspberry Pi. I don't think I can uh, keep it updated and functioning and working correctly, but I know the Raspberry Pi GPI case. There are two versions, the first one and a second one. I think I think they're a little bit closer in size to the original Game Boy. What I really wish I had, honestly, is a person that could modify this one and put me a backlight in. I think if I had a backlight, I'd be a lot happier and I'd play it a lot more. Um, it's just like it always has been for the last 30 some years. You have to have really good lighting. And sometimes at night, I just kind of want to lay on the sofa and play this while I watch TV. I um, People say, well, what is your absolute favorite game? It's not Mario. It is this one. You know, I love skateboarding, and Tour de Thrash is my favorite <laughs> Game Boy game. I, can, I can't tell you the hours I have put on this. So I have this multi-cart uh, that, you know, I, can, I had... It had hundreds of Game Boy regular and Game Boy Color games on it, and then I added hundreds more. That I was capable of doing. Um, you know, I had to watch some YouTube videos and learn how to um, get the ROMs and transfer the ROMs and all that, but I was able to do that myself. So I have and I own probably... Without counting them, I would say about 80 original cartridges. Now, back in the day, people don't realize this. These games cost $30 a piece when they came out. Three zero. So, I, you know, I was 18 years old when I bought my, my first Game Boy. And, you know, it was the second biggest purchase I'd ever made in my life. The first biggest purchase was a black leather jacket that cost $130. And the second biggest purchase was Game Boy that cost 90 So, you know, $30 per game uh, was not... It sounds inexpensive in today's world, but it wasn't at the time. Because back then, you could get like a pair of Levi's, a record album, and go eat at Taco Bell and have a, a couple of dollars left over for 30 bucks. And I'm not joking. So, um, 30 bucks was expensive, and originally, I think I only had, like, maybe seven games. So, I've amassed 80, and then, like I said, you get one of these, and um, you, you've got every one ever made. I've heard people say that they think this would damage your system. It doesn't. Uh, does it use more electricity than this cart? I don't think so. I think that I'm running batteries about the same. The, the games on this, to me, are pretty much perfect ROMs. I don't have any problem running any of the Game Boy games on this Game Boy. Everything I try to play plays, and it plays properly. 
So, um, you know, I don't have anything against emulation. What I have something against is I don't understand why everybody wants the mini systems, why they have to be so small. I would love, I would love a real modern Game Boy the same size. And I'd be willing to pay good money for that. So, you know, I'm not interested in the analog uh, system that's like $350 because it's still not the same size. So, does size matter? It certainly does when it comes to a Game Boy because if you've never held the original Game Boy, you get no fatigue. I can play this for hours. I don't get hand cramping. I don't get problems. With the smaller ones, I do. So, um, I would I would like somebody's input that's better educated than I am. Um, and you've seen my videos and you've heard me talk about different things. Do you think I'm capable <laughs> of, of managing and operating um, the RetroPie uh, GPI case? I'm not sure if I am or not. Oh, but I know where I can get a used one, and it's a pretty good price, and I'm sort of thinking about it. Ugh, I don't know what to do. So, anyway, this is what I enjoy best is handhelds. I have uh, full systems that go all the way back to original Atari Heavy 6, uh, one of the first 4,000 Sunnyvale's ever made. Ooh, that sounded so good when I said it. Um, but... I really love a handheld, and this is what did it, Game Boy. You know, I flunked out of college um, because I could not quit playing Game Boy in class, uh, at home, in the middle of the night. I mean, it was insane. Um, I went back to college and did a little bit better the second go round. but just saying, I love a handheld system, and I love this one. I just wish I had backlight. And if you were to go online and look to buy one with the IPS screen and the backlight and all that, it's, it's sort of ridiculously expensive. You could do a $10 mod on this, but you have to have, like, uh, an ability to solder. And, whoo, mm, yeah, I don't, I don't think I have the capability to do that. What is your opinion on how I can solve that just keep playing this or by the raspberry pi gpi case system with a better screen already on it at a reasonable price hmm. decisions decisions happy new year here we go into the first of the year 2024 and i have a lot of problems i could worry about what am i going to focus on the perfect Game Boy, of course. Okay, thanks.